Hey guys, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you might be a parent or a student trying to learn some of these new multiplication strategies. You might be excited or you might be like, this is dumb. Why do I have to learn this? Well, I'm really glad you're trying and giving it a shot. Good for you. You might end up liking it. We'll see. All right. For this strategy, we are going to do what is called an open array, or you might also hear it called an area model. Different ways people sometimes talk about it. Okay. If you have learned partial products, this is very similar, but it's a lot more visual, which I really like. Okay. So for this, we're doing, we're multiplying two, two digit numbers. So we are going to draw a grid that is two by two. And on one side, I'm going to have 41, but I'm not going to write it as 41. I'm going to write it as 40 plus one. Okay. And on this side, I'm going to write 31, but I'm going to write it as 30 plus one. Now we are going to multiply these just kind of like, it's like kind of like a multiplication chart where you just make sure everything gets multiplied. Right. And one of the cool things about this strategy is it doesn't matter what order I multiply these in. I don't have to start on the right or start on the top. You can multiply them in whatever order you want. So let's start with one times one, which is one. 1 times 30, which is 30. 40 times 1, which is 40. And 30 times 40, which gives me 1,200. Okay. And then I go ahead and add these all together. So I do 1,200 plus 30 plus 40 plus 1. And I end up with 1,000. 271. Okay, look at that. Okay, if I'm being honest, this is probably one of my favorite strategies. Um, if you want to see that some of the other ones I've done videos on, I'll link a video in the corner for you. But I love this strategy because it's so visual and there's a lot of number sense happening, which is so good for our students. Okay, let's go ahead and do it one more time. Again, it's a two 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 two, two, two digit numbers. <laughs> So I'm going to draw a box that is two by two. On top, I'm going to have 56, but I'm going to write it as 50 plus six. And on the side, I'm going to have 34 written as 30 plus four. Also, if you wanted to write the 30 plus four on top and the 50 plus six on the side, totally fine. All right, let's go ahead and multiply these. 50 times 30 gives me 5 times 3 is 15, add the two zeros, so 1,500. 6 times 30 is uh, 18, and then you add the zero, so 180, right? 50 times 4 is going to give me 200, and 6 times 4 is going to give me 24. I go ahead and add these all up. 1,500 plus 200 plus 180 plus 24. And I end up with, carry my one, 1,904. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for giving it a shot. Some students really thrive with this way, opposed to the normal standard algorithm that you might be used to. But thank you for giving it a shot and check out those other videos if you need to. Thanks.